Okay, part two of the Milk House project. Here's the situation. Since I jacked it up, the back corner is much better. But I also noticed that a building which used to be kind of dark and low ceilinged in spite of the four windows had a lot more light and was a lot more pleasant. So I decided to put in a line of glass blocks to let in some more light. The upper surface of the existing wall was very rough and uneven. The glass block wouldn't work very well on that. So I built a little form, little meaning shallow, and added a layer of smooth mortar in there. That works much better. At the same time, I went ahead and started laying in the next layer of stone on the back. I put up a 2x6 as a kind of a back form and laid the outside in freehand. So, those glass blocks. I didn't think I could lay up freehand stone to the exact dimensions needed to fit around them, especially since the blocks are much narrower than the wall. To solve that problem, I built a form and started casting blocks of the exact dimensions, 8 inches by 10 inches by 13 inches. Here's the first attempt. It took a lot of brushing. That happens a lot with slip form. Here it is. Yeah, that's kind of ugly. I think I'll put it in the back. Here it is, installed in the back corner. For the second block, I got the idea to rotate the whole thing 90 degrees. Now the face was on the bottom. I could then put a little sand down between the stones and put the mortar in, and mostly solve the brushing problem. I also added an aluminum can to create a void and make the block a little lighter. Yeah, that's much better. Then, as they say, lather, rinse, repeat, each one getting a little better with practice. Here's the east side, which is the back side with the installed blocks. I used half a bag of thin set mortar left over from a floor tile project to set the stone blocks and the glass blocks between them. Here's a little example of what that looked like. After a few minutes, you can clean up the mortar uh, around the glass blocks with a damp sponge, but the video of it didn't come out very well. Here's what the individual glass block looks like fully installed. And here's the way they all look installed and how the whole project stands now.
The next step will be to fill in the rest of the sides on the same level as the glass block and then jack up the roof some more so I can put a layer in above the blocks. I'll update with progress on that in the next video.